Introducing the Soundbeats True Engine 2, a very affordable hi-fi dual driver totally wireless earbud. And if you don't know about Soundbeats, well then probably you should, because this is a company that has been producing the best selling in-ear headphones on Amazon since 2015. If you don't believe me, then just go through the customer feedback section for each of their products and you will know exactly why. Hi guys, Nafis here from Technobliss where the business is all about audio, back and gadget reviews. So if you're new here, then please consider subscribing. So I did a review earlier in the year about one of their headphones and was seriously blown away by their quality at the price point that it was being offered at the time. So when Soundbits announced that they were coming up in Kickstarter with their newest headphones, I was like, I need to fund this right now. And now that the Soundbits True Engine 2 are here, let's do the unboxing. So out of the box, you get a card with customer care details, one $10 coupon for your next purchase with Soundbits, one user manual, one small USB 2 to USB-C charging cable, the headphones itself, uh, two small and large ear fins and ear tips. Out of the box, it comes with the medium ear fins and the ear tips attached. And I did not change anything, I just put them on my ears and they seem to fit perfectly fine. Definitely will not fall out if I take this thing out running with me. They seem really comfortable, soft and feather-like for a all that usage. Plus, they are now IPX5 rated sweat and water resistant, which means you can more than splash these earbuds with water and they will still be fine. There are two variants of the Soundbits 2 Engine 2 and that is totally reliant on the type of charging case. Uh, regular or wireless charge enabled. I got the regular charging case for 60 US, uh, US dollars when they had their uh, Kickstarter campaign going on and the wireless charging case version was going for around 80 Australian dollars. Both fairly cheap but I was not fussed about the wireless charging given that they already charge with USB-C uh, so it's already very convenient. The case holds 30 plus hours worth of use and the earbuds can hold almost 6 hours so that's more than what you need for in a day uh, and it only takes 2 hours for a full recharge. It has dual dynamic drivers which deliver stereo sound meaning you can take a call with any of the earbuds left or right does not matter. It also engages noise cancellation during calls. It uses a technology very similar to that of the AirPods Pro where it uses an external and an internal microphone that cancel out the ambient noise and feed you pure voice during a call. As usual, I made a couple of calls with the Soundbits 2 Engine 2 and found them to be performing really good. I don't think that you will have any complaints making calls with this. Soundbits also owns a patented design which separates audio signals in different frequencies and delivers them independently. So while listening to music, I found that the mids or voice levels were very accurate and the treble was exceptionally clear. But found that the bass to be okay. It's not the greatest but does well with rap or EDM type songs. I feel like the earbuds would have done significantly well or sounded a lot better if they were a bit louder. But that's just me. Maybe for others this level is okay. And for the audio files, this Soundbits True Engine 2 also supports aptX codec. So you should have no problem with latency while gaming with this say on a PC. It also performs well with iPhones too because it also supports the AAC codec. These earbuds also have touch controls. You can either use the right or the left earbud and tap twice to play or pause songs or answer or hang up calls. Press three times to call Siri, hold the right earbud for two seconds to go to the next track and hold the left one for two seconds to go back to the previous track. They also claim that they have included volume control, but I have not been able to figure that out yet. So if you know how, then please leave a comment down in the comment section below. I would love to try that out. So I think it's a great earbud considering that I only paid six dollars for it. And if I have to complain about one thing, then I would probably point out uh, about the size of the charging case. I think it's a bit too big to be carried around in your pockets. Other than that, it is a great product. But the only question is, uh, what will be the final price of this True Engine 2? Because if it costs around 150 US dollars, then there are some other headphones I would highly recommend that might sound a little bit better than this one. Uh, and also has a better transportability. But other than that, I think this is a solid headphone. There is a lot to like and some of the features can only be found in some high-end headphones that cost a ridiculous amount of money. So anyways guys, that's it from me today. Thanks for watching this video and if you want to stay in touch with me, then subscribe to my channel because I post videos every week. So till next time, peace.